I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com. And I want to talk with you today about two areas on your LinkedIn profile page that most people really need to beef up. Now, everyone talks with you about the headline. That is that line underneath your name. And they may talk with you about the summary area as a way of telling your story. And the thing that people keep skipping time and time again are two areas. The first one, and I think it's the more important one, is recommendations. LinkedIn has now made it much easier to ask for recommendations. So if you scroll down to the area where you have recommendations listed, there's now something that says ask to be recommended. So you can reach out to someone that you work with, someone that you have worked with, a client, any number of individuals uh, who you can now ask. And it first asks you, who do you want to ask? And from there, you fill that in. You select what the relationship is, whether you manage them, you reported to them, uh, senior to you, uh, you worked with them in the same group at different companies, a client, taught or mentored, advised, you were students together. Whatever it is, there is now a way that you can pre-select uh, what the relationship was between the two of you and your position and firm at the time of the association with one another. And then you can send a, the request for a recommendation to someone through LinkedIn and get more recommendations. I don't know how it is for you, but if you're trying to hire someone, if you're trying to recruit someone and you see someone with and I'm going to come back to this this other area in a second, another area in a second. But if you see 50 recommendations, or five, or 500, which one do you give more credence to? You know, you notice that there are 500 recommendations, or 50 rather than five. Now, another thing. Uh, is the area called feature skills and endorsements. Now, this has always been an easy way to ask people to support you. And you know, it's a checkbox, basically. And I know in my case, from all the years I spent in executive search, I have hundreds of recommendations for executive search, for recruiting, for technical recruiting. And by comparison, my coaching uh, checkbox is a lot less. It clearly has more than 100, but it's not prioritized as highly because most of my career was in recruiting and people have endorsed or have, have featured and endorsed me for that. However you do it, you know, I want to encourage you to also ask people to you know, endorse you for particular skills so that in this way, again, you're standing out from others who employers or search firms are trying to reach out to. Because again, you're always looking for ways to differentiate yourself. And numbers are really it. So the recommendations, there's texture there because people are actually writing about you. And in endorsements or fe and featured skills, it's basically a checkbox. So tell them what to can, uh, to endorse you for so that they don't pick dumb things like some people did for me uh, in the early days. Uh, so you know, I'm, I have recommendations for SDLC or karma, you know, which is nonsense. You know, what does that have to do with anything? So I'll just simply say, tell them what to do. And I'm sure a lot of folks will do it and support you with your search. I'm Jeff Alton, The Big Game Hunter. If you're interested in my coaching one-on-one, -on -one, visit my website, thebiggamehunter.us. There are tabs on the top that will tell you about particular services I offer. And you know, hire me to help you. You know, it's not expensive, especially when you take into consideration all the time and angst that you go through as part of your search. And you know, if you want great information, my website has a ton of it. And the best of it is located at JobSearchCoachingHQ.com, where I have curated information that you can watch, listen to, or read that's going to help you find work more quickly. Hope you have a great day. Take care.